Hello everyone, if you want to know how to create your own custom HDRI maps in Blender, just watch this video. So let's create our own HDRI picture from uh, that warehouse model, which I downloaded from uh, my Blender kit add-on, which I can only recommend. So let's jump into the camera and um, to get a good HDRI picture um, I recommend to set the angle to 90 degree so that you can look straight forward. Um, beware of that you uh, have no other angle in it and uh, you can put your camera uh, to the height that you wish. If you want to have a picture that is placed on the on the floor you have to put the camera pretty down and but uh, I wanted to have a picture that it's approximately uh, at the height of a normal human um, that would be the best uh, position for the camera. Now if you jump into the camera um, you can see nothing. Uh, you can see the normal view. To uh, change it to an HDRI picture um, you have to go into the camera setting to the uh, view type and now you have to change it from perspective to panoramic and in panorama type you have to choose equirectangular. As you can see everything looks still normal. You have to uh, go to the rendered view. That uh, takes a second because it's a pretty big scene I think. So here we go and you already can see the typical look of the HDRI picture. Um, what you have to cons consider is uh, that you have to uh, push up the, the size of the picture so th that everything is uh, sharp um, when you import the HDRI map later. So I can recommend at least uh, 4K, better is 8K. I think that would be 400%. I don't know. Uh, have to, have to Google it. Uh, I read the picture with uh, 4K and that already looks good. And to get an HDRI picture out of it, um, you have to set the output picture from JPEG or PNG to Radiance HDR. Uh, that makes sure that the picture has the, the whole uh, light range and um, everything emits light. And uh, the difference to a normal JPEG is that normal JPEGs have a, a much lower um, light range um, and there is no emissive light in it. Um, another thing that you should consider is that you uh, should turn off everything like depth of field or when you work with EV uh, plume or whatever, all these effect, uh, effects because you should uh, add these effects later on in your scene where you have important uh, imported the HDRI. Um, you also should turn off uh, things like clear or lens distortion um, because that also uh, gives a strange output. Um, so now you say uh, yes but I can't render um, a complex model like this so uh, it does not make sense for me. There's no benefit but um, you could also do some um, some preset lightning for you. Uh, for example, uh, I prepared some abstract pipes. Um, that was an HDRI with only some um, some very long cubes uh, um, along the Z axis, um, no, along the X axis, uh, and I gave them um, an emissive shader with some blue and uh, pink light. And as you can see, we get a really nice soft light out of it. Another thing that you could do is um, I prepared myself a little photo studio, photo setup, light setup. Um, instead of, instead of uh, building that every time new or import that whole model, you could uh, render an HDRI out of it, but if you want to do that, um, you have to be, uh, you have to make sure that these lights 
are not normal lights because these lights you won't see in your HDRI map because uh, the they you, you can see the light that they emit but you cannot see the light itself so you can only see the area where the light reflects if you want to have the lights in your HDRI map you uh, would have to um, create some planes for example something like that um, uh, where's the material no there and give them um, for example an emission maybe something like that and that light will be visible in your HDRI later on um, you can also do some some crazy things uh, for example just dive into uh, a, a blood scene uh, that's a scene I have created um, and you can do some cool things with it uh, for example uh, just let me turn the camera um, mm -hmm. panoramic to triangular and that looks like uh, you are inside um, a vein or whatever so you don't have to use always uh, just a normal natural environment you can also set up some cool own HRI maps uh, and use that later on